Hey everybody, it's Bubbly4041 and I'm back with another video. In this video I'm going to go over my show results from my most recent live show which took place in Massachusetts on October 23rd and it was called Festival of Frights. It was a really fun show. I haven't been to a live show since 2017 so it's been about four years. I had a really good time there. I got to debut a lot of horses that I've had in my collection since 2017 um, that I actually haven't been able to show yet and quite a few of them placed so it was a really good experience. It was a small scale show. I only had about 14 other entrants uh, besides myself um, competing that day, but there were a lot of horses, a lot of good competition. Uh, region 10 is, is really a pretty competitive region, um, even for kind of the, the small stature and the small size in the region. Um, so it was a really good experience, a really fun time. This show did only consist of OF breed uh, judging, and there was only OF plastics and then custom and artist resin, which were two separate divisions. So Briars and Peter Stones of all sizes were judged together, and then Customs and Artist Resins were judged together on breed only. They didn't consider workmanship or collectability in this show. And the prizes consisted of, as you can see here, satin ribbons, first through sixth place. There were also um, satin rosettes for the champion um, de reserve and champion titles per division, like the pony division, draft division, all that kind of thing. And then there were pony pouches for the overalls. So it was a really good time, good um, raffles going on, good competition, and the prizes were nice as well. So I brought 99 horses to show. I brought 100, but I only ended up uh, showing 99. And the class list was two horses per class, but you could have up to three buy-ins for a total of five horses per class. And I did do that for some of the classes, especially the stock horse classes. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just show you, this is what the ribbons look like. And then I'm going to go ahead and just uh, individually talk about what horses got what. Um, probably at least half of my horses placed, so that's really too many to lay out on my bed and do individual ribbons and that kind of thing. So... I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, this was the first place ribbon, second place blue and red um, as usual, third place was yellow, fourth place was orange, and then fifth place was purple, and sixth place was brown. So that was pretty cool, and I had this cute little fall emblem on them as well. So um, really nice ribbons, and I probably got the most second places. I didn't count up exactly how many ribbons I got, though, but I just uh, I did fairly well, and I'm happy with my results, so I'll go ahead and share those with you now. All right, so we're over at the pony shelves. I'm going to go ahead and go through the different divisions and just class by class uh, what my horses placed, if they placed, and how many were in the class that they competed in. So to begin with, first off, we have this girl. This is Breath of Heaven. She's a Peter Stone Arabian foal. I actually haven't shown her since I got her in, I believe, 2017. And she took a second place in the Light Breed Foals class out of 10 horses. And the first place was another uh, Peter Stone Arabian foal, so... She did well. And then none of my stablemate foals placed, um, but I did have several competing in the stock horse and the stock foals class that had 19 entries, and these two Peter Stone uh, weanlings did place. This is Heart and Soul. She got a fourth place out of 19, and then Twist and Shout got a fifth place out of 19. And then my most surprising um, for the whole full division was I did actually take the pony class, the pony foals class, um, and that had 16 entrants in it. So we have um, In Cahoots, which is this one right here. Um, he's just my, uh, it starts with a B, I don't know, that special run pony and foal set they did for 2020, I think. Um, anyway, I showed him, and he got a first place out of 16, which was really cool. And then this guy, who usually does not do well, um, he's a little like the Briar Rory. I call him Blazing Comet, and he actually got a second out of 16, so that was really cool. They got first and second. They didn't get any champion titles. Um, I have horses at the end that I will show you, but I was still pretty surprised that they got the first and the second. And then my last uh, full placing was this girl. This is my Peter Stone yearling. She's a, a nice dappled buckskin. And I showed her in the other foals class, and she got a fifth place out of ten entries. So moving on, the next division was the sport division. Um, I had two stalemates in the thoroughbred class. They did not place. Uh, in the European Warm Blood class, there were 31 entries. So that was one of the biggest classes. And I showed... 
uh, these three guys and some others, but the only one that placed was my Glossy Verdades. That's how you say his name. Uh, this is Take a Chance, and he ended up getting a fourth place out of 31. And then we have the carriage class that had 25 entries in it. I showed this guy. We're going to hop over here. Um, this is Night Fever. He's a Peter Stone American Saddlebred. And he ended up getting a second out of the 25. And then we have other sports. Um, there were several in that class. There was 25 in that class as well. And I showed this girl. This is my Peter Stone Palouse. She's the one of a kind by Cheryl Leisure, and she got a second place out of 25 as well. And I'm looking at a paper down here, so I'm going to flip it. That's why you hear the, the rustling here for a second. So moving on, the pony class. Um, I have a winner that I will show you later on because he did go up and get something higher. Um, but in the American Pony class, there was 27 entries. I showed this little guy right here. This is Princeton. He's a little Peter Stone Pebbles Arabian. And I showed him as a Walera pony in the American Pony class. And he actually ended up getting a second place in breed. So that was pretty cool. And that was out of 27. And then in the other European pony class, I showed uh, several horses, I think four or five, and that had 18 entrants, and I showed this girl, she did not place, I showed her as a hackney pony, but she didn't place, which kind of was surprising to me. Um, but my one placing in that class was a second place, and that actually went to this little tiny one up here, this little... I'm trying to hold my phone with one hand here. This little gray Peter Stone Chips pony. Her name is Paloma, and she actually got a second place out of 18 in that class. So that was pretty cool. And then I think that was other pony. I had uh, three different entries in other pony. And that, of course, included my infamous Kings of Twilight, my Briarfest Carlisle. He um, didn't get first or second, but he did get a fifth. So that was pretty good. And then my other two placings in that class were also little guys, so I'm going to zoom back off over here. And we have Dotcom, who's the little Appaloosa dude right there. He got a sixth place, and then fourth place actually went to uh, Meadowlark, which is the little rearing pony right there. So he got a fourth in that class, and that was out of 12 in Other Pony. And then we went on to the draft division, um, showed him British draft, didn't get anything, got a second place in American draft, and that was with this guy. First time I've shown him. This is my Peter Stone trotting drafter. His name is Finnegan's Wake, and he got a second, and that was out of 15 entrants. And then fourth place in that same class was another stablemate, um, this little tiny Belgian stablemate. She got a fourth in that class. Her name is Modern Art. And then the only other placings I got in the draft division were in the other drafts class, and that was out of 15. Again, um, just stablemates, actually. And we're going to zoom back over to the other two on this mold here. We have Power Play on the right. This is... Where's my hand here? Oop, there you go. This is Power Play, and then this is Jet into Vegas. And Power Play got a six, and then Jet into Vegas got a fifth. So he took a six and he took a fifth in the other draft class. And then on to the stock division, which was definitely one of the largest divisions. Um, surprisingly, I think the, uh, the uh, European Warm Blood class of 31 was the biggest class of the day, but or at least one of the biggest classes. But in stock, um, I did show my two Peter Stone Appaloosas here and Appaloosa out of 24 horses, and they did not get anything. Um, in Quarter Horse, there was 25 entries, and Undone Wrap, who's this Peter Stone over here, she took a second, and then actually after her, um, I showed It's Corona Time, he didn't get anything, and then I also showed Into the Unknown right there, and he didn't get anything, but this guy, um, who I call Through the Grapevine, he got a third in that class out of 25. And then... Let me see, keep on going here. Paint actually had more than quarter horse. Paint actually had 29 horses in it. And I showed these three guys. 
This is Twist of Fate, and she got a fifth out of the 29. And then Smoky Mountain Mystery did not place. And then this guy, Oliver Twist, who I've had for quite a long time, um, he actually took a first in the paint horse class, so that was pretty cool. That's his first uh, Nan, or not Nan, but first, first or second placing that he's won with me, I believe, so that was pretty cool. I was pretty happy about that. Judge said she really liked his coloring with the gloss. He's a nice dark bay. And his uh, blaze is really nice and crisp. It's pretty cute. And then we went to the Mustang class. And in that class there was 23. I showed a couple stable mates. They didn't place. And then I did show just my regular Briar Classic rearing Mustang here. His name's Tartan. And he got a fourth place, which was pretty cool. At a 23. And then in other stock, I only had two entries, um, both stones. I showed this beautiful guy. This is my really customized um, foundation quarter horse from Stone. And he took a fourth place in that class. And then this guy, um, Dust Till Dawn, he took a... He's the one with the braid. He's really pretty, a nice sooty buckskin. And he took a third place in that class. So I took third and fourth in other stock. And that was out of 17. All right, and I think this is the last page here. And the next division was Spanish and Gated. So an American Saddlebred, I just showed, I had some stalemates, they didn't place, but I did show this Peter Stone Chestnut or American Saddlebred, and he took a fourth, and that was out of 27. And then the next class was Spanish Gated Breeds, and that was out of 13. And I showed... These two right here, we have the mini Alborozo, that's Drops of du Jupiter, he got six, and then, and that was out of 13, and then Tango, uh, the little Peruvian Paso guy, he got a fifth out of eight, out of 13. And then we had Spanish non-gated breeds, and that was out of 23. I showed my Peter Stone and Illusion, he's a really nice dark city buckskin. I, I consider him a city buckskin. So I showed him as a Lusitano, and he got a first place out of the 23. Again, first time showing him, so I was really happy with that. She's a beautiful model. And um, and then in the next class, Other American Gated, the last class of this division, there were 18 entries in Other American Gated, and I showed um, pretty much my Tennessee walking horses I stuck there, and that was this guy. This is Getaway Car. He's a really lovely customized Peter Stone Tennessee walking horse. And we just recently got him a couple months ago. He took a first out of the 18. And then my second place in that class out of 18, kind of surprised, um, went to this little guy, my little glossy stalemate right there. Um, Sky, I think. He's one of the Briarfest single day stalemates for one of the years recently. And I call him Cadbury, and he got a second place out of the 18 horses. So that was really cool. I was pretty excited about that placing. And the next division was the light division, um, second to last division. I showed an Arabian that had 20 entries, and I showed this guy. This is uh, Breccia. He's my Peter Stone Arabian. Nice flu button gray. He took a fourth out of the 20, and I showed two stablemates, but they didn't place. And then Part Arabian also had 20 entries, and I showed this guy. This is Raiden Solo. It's a Peter Stone Arabian as well. Show him as a Korab, and he got a second place out of the 20. So that's one of the better placings that he's gotten at a live show. And then in Morgan, um, I got a good placing in Morgan, but I will wait to show you that at the end. Other than that placing, there were 25 entries in Morgan, and this guy, Spring Awakening, he got a fourth. He always does really well in photo shows and not so well in live shows, which I find kind of funny. But he uh, did, got a fourth, which is good, out of 20. And then in... And I showed two stalemates as well, a couple stalemates, but they didn't place. And then other light, I had a stalemate, but he did not place. So after the light division, there was the other division, and that included mules, donkeys, things of that sort. So in the mule class, I showed my glossy buckeye, and he got a... Oh, I thought he got something. Nope, he didn't place. But I had a little mule that I have actually sold since, um, but he got a... The little mule that I had got a fifth place, so... And then in donkeys, I do still have those guys. This is Sprite. He's my bigger briar donkey there. He took a fourth place in donkey, and that was out of 15. And then finally, we had other breeds not listed. There were nine entries I showed Frosted, and he got a fifth place out of the nine. 
And then in fantasy, um, they didn't get the green breed cards, but they just did get ribbons. Uh, there was 15 in fantasy. I did show my big guy swinging on a star. He didn't get anything. But this little tiny one, this is Faith. She's a little Peter Stone Chips pony, a little pegacorn kind of thing. And she actually took a second out of 15 in the fantasy class, which I was really happy about. And then I did have two entries in the Custom and Artist Resin Halter, and that was these two guys over here. Um, Gloria, who's my customized Gigi Valentine by Monica West, she got a third in the European Warm Blood Custom Artist Resin class. There was only nine entries in that class. And then um, Heartless Deceptions took a second in the American Saddlebird class, um, and that only had about five entries in it for the Custom Artist Resin. Wasn't a lot of Custom Artist Resin entries, uh, but they did have some, some really powerful entries for the ones that were there, so happy to just get some ribbons with them. And then we're going to buzz on over um, really quickly. This is my biggest placings of the day. So I got two rosettes, um, just decided to save them for last here. So this is one of my newer guys. Um, really happy with him. This is a little Peter Stone pony. His name is Raisin a Ruckus, and his Peter Stone pony name was like Freckles Boy or something of that nature. He's a 2018 one of a kind. He's a really lovely model, really nice flea bit and gray color. His mane and his tail and such are customized and his head is turned. And he's just a really, really, really cute model. Um, I showed him in British Pony. I just showed him as a Connemara. It's the first breed that kind of came to mind. And he took a first place in the British Pony Breeds class. And that was out of 16, 17, 18, something like that um, for that class. And then he did end up actually taking the Pony Division uh, Breed Champion. So I was really excited with that. That was my first rosette of the day. Um, and just really happy that he's a new model and everybody really commented on how his color really, you know, his color pops and he's just really nicely done. So very pleased with that result for him. And then my biggest placing of the day, surprisingly, um, was this guy. This is Prince of Thieves. Um, he is a one of a kind Peter Stone Morgan. And I've had him for maybe a year now, year and a half now. First time that I've shown him as well. And he was in the Morgan class with Spring Awakening who got a fourth. And he actually took the first place in the Morgan class out of uh, the 25 entries. He's just a really, really lovely model. Let's see if we can get it to focus some here. He has dapples. And he's just a really, really nice silver bay color, which is nice with the Morgans. So I showed him in the Morgan class. He got a first. And then he went on to take the champion of the Light Breeds division. So that's what the champion rosettes look like. And then at the very end of the show, he actually went on and he took the um, overall breed champion, OF breed champion of the entire show. So it says Festival of Frights overall champion on it. Um, it's a little bat pony pouch. It's really cute. There's someone in Region 10 that does these um, pony pouches and he puts the, you know, the monograms, the writing on it and stuff. So this is my first overall title that I've won in, a, in an open level live show. So I was really happy to one, you know, have won this result, um, especially coming back after a four year hiatus of live shows. And the judge especially loved Morgan's. She was really partial to the breed. So that's partly why he uh, took home the, the top honors of that day. But he is just a really lovely model as well. So the funny thing is, is that my other Morgan, who got a fourth, he generally does better in photo shows and this guy does worse in photo shows. And then it's kind of the opposite. The other one does worse in live shows. And so far, this guy has gotten a first and did really, really well um, for this live show. So... Overall, very pleased with my results. That's all of the placings that I got. Um, again, really, really a lot of competition. Pretty much most of the classes had 10 or more entries in them, most of them averaging around between 15 and 25 uh, per class. It was a really great show. I will have a experience video up of all the pictures and such that I did take um, while I was at the show, and I will probably throw on... Um, possibly throw on pictures of my horses with their ribbons um, at the show at the end of that video, but I wanted to get this video out first before I did that. Um, I really appreciate you guys taking a look at this video, seeing my results. As always, comment anything down below if you have any questions or, or thoughts on any videos that I could do or any videos that I have done. Um, 
really happy with how I did, really excited to be back out and trying to do some shows again, and hopefully more shows will pick up in the region, especially uh, next year, just as we kind of start to come out of this whole COVID crisis that we've been in. So appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, like this video, comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll be back and I will post a experience video with all the pictures from this show uh, shortly coming on. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.